£250 million contract for next phase for future combat air system, the new contract will drive forward the concept and assessment phase of the future combat air system. The Ministry of Defence has signed a £250 million contract with British industry, Team Tempest, partners, driving forward the next phase of the major national and international endeavour to develop the next generation of combat air, the Defence Secretary has today announced. Now officially underway, the concept and assessment phase will define and begin to design the future combat air system, mature technologies across the system, invest in the skilled workforce, secure digital and physical infrastructure and tools that underpin cutting-edge digital engineering, data and software-based systems, enable major program choices by 2024. Known as Tempest, the future combat air system is expected to combine a core aircraft with a whole network of capabilities such as uncrewed aircraft and advanced data systems to form a next-generation mix designed to enter service from the mid-2030s. Marking the formal start of the program's concept and assessment phase, the contract is worth an initial £250 million and is planned to grow further. The investment forms part of more than £2 billion worth of United Kingdom government spending on the project over the next four years, as announced in the recent Defence Command paper. The contract will see investment in the digital and physical infrastructure on which the programme will be developed, putting it on a digital first footing whereby simulated design and testing can significantly reduce costs, time and emissions. The Defence Secretary made the announcement at BAE Systems site in Wharton. Wharton is the centre of development for the programme and is home to the Factory of the Future, a highly connected facility with state-of-the-art technology designed to showcase a revolutionary approach to manufacturing military aircraft. The contract has been signed with BAE Systems, one of the four founding members of Team Tempest, which also includes partners Leonardo United Kingdom, Rolls-Royce and MBDA United Kingdom. Around 800 of the 2,000 jobs supported by the contract are based in the north of England, across sites in Wharton, Salmsbury and Brough. BAE Systems has flowed collaborative support contracts directly with the core Team Tempest, partners Leonardo United Kingdom, Rolls-Royce and MBDA. As a result, further jobs supported by the programme also spread across areas including Edinburgh, Luton, Stevenage and Bristol. Defence Secretary Ben Wallace, said, Today marks a momentous step in the next phase of our future combat air system, with a multi-million pound investment that draws on the knowledge and skills of our United Kingdom industry experts. Boosting our already world-leading air industry, the contract will sustain thousands of jobs across the United Kingdom and will ensure that the United Kingdom remains at the top table when it comes to combat air. United Kingdom Director of Future Combat Air, Richard Berthon, said, This project is hugely important in ensuring the United Kingdom and its partners have the skills and technology we need to give us the battle-winning edge for the future. Developing the system allows us to drive a revolution in digital development and harness the power of open systems architecture. We are looking forward to working together with United Kingdom industry and international partners to create and deliver a system which will keep us safe for decades to come. The programme to design a future combat air system is a major international endeavour, and the United Kingdom will deliver it with international partners. Last year, the United Kingdom, Italy and Sweden signed a Memorandum of Understanding to collaborate on the project. Together the three countries aspire to develop the concepts, sharing workload while maximising their national expertise as they strive towards a common goal. During his visit to Tokyo last week, the Defence Secretary and Japanese Defence Minister Nobuo Kishi also agreed to accelerate discussions between the United Kingdom and Japan on developing subsystems for a future combat air system. This included intensifying efforts to explore working together on power and propulsion. International partnership has been central to the combat air strategy from the outset, and the United Kingdom is open to welcoming other partners on board.
according to research conducted by professional services company PwC earlier this year on behalf of Team Tempest, the ongoing work of the four Team Tempest partners and their supply chains in support of United Kingdom combat air activities could support around 62,000 jobs per year and contribute in the region of £100 billion to the United Kingdom economy between 2021 and 2050. The future combat air system is supported by the £24 billion uplift in defence spending, announced by the Prime Minister last year. This partnership between the Ministry of Defence and Industry, also forms an integral part of the Ministry of Defence recently published Defence, Security and Industrial Strategy. And during a visit to Bay Systems Wharton site in Lancashire, Ben Wallace, United Kingdom Secretary of State for Defence, said the announcement marked a momentous step in the programme. Tempest will pioneer cutting-edge technologies, including those assisted by artificial intelligence, machine learning and autonomous systems to meet the capability requirements of future conflicts and be operational in the mid-2030s. United Kingdom Director of Future Combat Air, Richard Berthon, said, this project is hugely important in ensuring the United Kingdom and its partners have the skills and technology we need to give us the battle-winning edge for the future. The design and production of Tempest demands a radically different approach and the team Tempest partners are working with companies in their supply chain to drive digital transformation, embedding a digital enterprise through the ecosystem embracing an agile approach that will deliver a combination of advanced technologies, efficiency, speed of production and lower costs. Chris Boardman, Group Managing Director of BAE Systems Air Sector, added, The funding announced today marks a critical next step for the program and, with our partners, we will work together to define the technical and capability requirements and develop the concept which will bring Tempest to life. According to BAE Systems, air domain highlights included the production of F-35 rear fuselage assemblies, ramping up to full rate levels with 70 assemblies completed in the reporting period. In the electronic systems segment over 900 F-35 electronic warfare systems have been delivered on the F-35 program as of the end of H-1 2021. The corporate guidance through 2021 stated that there remained uncertainties arising from the COVID-19 pandemic and although a strengthening pound could have an impact on annual results, group sales were still expected to grow in the 3% to 5% range over 2020 figures.